Hello and welcome or welcome back to Creative Vibes. And today what we're going to learn how to do is this super cute twisted headband. And we're going to use the Edelweiss stitch in order to create the headband. So you're going to do, have a two for one in this particular tutorial. So this is very stretchy here, very warm. And I love the Edelweiss stitch because it's very compact. So that's going to keep that warmth factor um, going here with this particular pattern. So this is going to be a quick learn, very easy. And you know, something that, you know, if you do sell in marketplace, it's going to be a great item for you to have on your display, because depending upon how fast you knit, you can knit this up and make, um, this in about an hour, hour and a half um, top. So you can make multiples of these, you know, in a day. So I thought that this was really cute to learn and fun and fast. So what you'll need to have for, um, to make this here, I use this particular yarn here. It's, uh, the charisma brand show you that. And you'll need what it says here. You'll need a nine millimeter needle. Now you could do this if you have a circular needle or straight, you could do either one. You're not knitting it circular, but because, um, I have, I don't have, I should say straight needles in this size, I'm going to be using a circular needle and you can knit flat on the circular. So I'll be showing you that as well. Um, this is in the color tweed blue. So you'll need your yarn here. You'll also need your needle. So I'm going to be using the circular needles. You'll also need your scissors and a tapestry needle. So grab all those things, come on back and you'll get to learn how to do the twisted headband. Okay. So to start off the project, what you're going to do is cast on in multiples of 13. So I did have to change my needle from the wood to, um, the stainless steel. For some reason, the wood, the yarn was just gripping a little bit too much and there was no give. So I did have to switch up. So if you see a different needle, that's why. So, um, these are 13 stitches here. Now this is going to be for an adult size headband. I will in the description show and demonstrate, um, the different, um, how many stitches you need to do for a baby or a toddler size. So don't worry about that. That'll be in the description, but for now, we're just going to do the adult size. So this is 13 stitches with the long tail cast on method. Feel free to use any cast on method that you are comfortable with. I will attach here in the video, the playlist for other, um, cast ons that I have, um, did a tutorial for, but for now, you could just use the long tail cast on if you like. So I'm um, knitting as if you're knitting uh, on the flat needles, but these are in the around needle. You're just going to, for row one, you're just going to knit all your stitches. So let's do that. And you're just going to knit as if this were a flat needle. Don't do anything differently. Knit all your stitches. Coming towards my last few stitches here. And on your last stitch, you can stitch the normal way or you can stitch, uh, knit through the back loop, the back, I should say, so that there isn't a big loop on the end here, totally up to you, but that's all you have to do for row one, just knit all your stitches. So I'll see you on row two. Okay. So here we are. We are, we should be done with row one. So all you're going to do, if you're following along with me and you're using a circle needle, and even if you're on a flat needle, you're just going to turn your work here and you should be on row two. 
So I am going to just demonstrate. This is going to be easier than me reading off what's on the screen for your, uh, what you need to do. So you're going to knit your first stitch here. Let's try that again. There we go. You're going to knit your first stitch, bring your yarn forward because you're going to purl two stitches together. So purl these two together. But you're not going to take anything off just yet. You're going to bring your yarn to the back and then you're going to knit those two together on that same stitch. And then you're going to take everything off. So let's try that again. So you're going to purl the next two together. Keep everything on. Bring the yarn to the back and then knit everything together. Then off. All right, let's give that one more try. Pearl your next two together. Keep everything on. Bring the yarn forward. Go back in and knit those two together. And then off. And you're going to do that for the rest of your stitches and I'll see you on row three. Okay. So now we're ready to do row three. And I told you guys, this is a nice, simple, easy stitch, no stretch stitch pattern, I should say at all. So you're going to do row three and that's the same as row one. You're going to knit all your stitches. So let's start that. So I'm going to complete the rest of my row and I will meet you on row number four. Okay. So you should be on the wrong side of your work. So this is going to be your final row, which is row four. So you're going to purl two together. And you're going to do it the same way you did on row number two. You're going to purl two, but don't take that off of any needles just yet. You're going to bring it around to the back and you're going to knit those same two stitches together and then off your needle. So let's do it again, because this is pretty much the same thing you did in row two. Take those two stitches, curl them together, leave them on the needle, bring it to the back and then knit the two together. So you're going to do that for all your stitches until you get down to your last stitch. So I will meet you there. Okay. So you're at your last stitch here on row number four. So all you're going to do is just knit that one stitch and you've completed row four. So turn your work again so that you are on the right side of your work. And that completes the stitch pattern there. So what you could do, you could do one of two things with knowing how long you want to have your headband. Now, everybody's head size is different. When I did a, the first uh, batches of these, I just knit, knitted, and then I just kept measuring and wrapping it around my head until it actually fit. And I did it that way. Not the most conventional way to do it, but that's how I got the right fit. 
or you could do 17 to 18 inches. You could do it that way. For me, I think if I'm making it for myself, that's the most accurate way is to just knit it, knit, um, and then measure it around your head, if that makes sense, so that you could get a more um, accurate fit and then measure, if that makes sense. So either way you could do it, it's going to be a little bit of trial and error. Um, if you're making them for the marketplace, then you're going to kind of have to do a little rough estimate. And I will put the uh, measurements in the description as well, so that you can have a guide as well. But if you're doing it for yourself, I think knit as you go and then measure it around your actual head. I think that's the more accurate way. And then you can write down the measurement for your um, records so that you know um, that's the way that I did it and it worked for me. So I am going to knit up until that point, either 17 to 19 inches or whatever fits around your particular head. I will try to be better and putting timestamps in the description as well. And then I will teach you how to close it up and then you'll be done with this pattern. Okay. So now that you've weaved in the cast on end, what you're going to do now is thread your needle on your bind off end and bind off in whatever way that you see fit. Once you're at the end of your project, Whichever way you see. Oh, oh, I got that one in on the first shot there too. All right. So now that we got that together, wonderful. So you're going to take off, take your bind off in, and you're going to go corner to corner like this. You're going to take your cast on in, and you're going to go corner to corner like that. You're going to bring the two together. Once you have them together, all you're going to do is just sandwich them in and try to make it as neat as possible. Just make sure everything's nice and lined up like that. good to me. Now you're going to take your needle that you should have already threaded and you're going to put to uh, sew these this together. You're going to do one, two, and three. You're going to put those three together first. So one, two, and three. Put that together. Then you're going to go back in behind that and put one, two, and three together. Two and three together. Okay. Go in front of all these and put all four together. Go here. So you're just going back and forth, back and forth, and make sure you get all the layers together. And see how I'm giving it a nice tug? Go back, get all layers together. Go back, make sure you're getting all the layers together. Go back, all together. all together and we're almost to the end looks nice and secure you kind of let it go a little bit see where we're at get the four all together get the four 
it's a little thick so just be patient make sure you're going through all four all together coming through all four and just going back and forth, back and forth. So I'm almost to the end. So this little piece here, I might want to just have this lie flat down. So I'm going to try to catch that piece there. Have that go down. Could possibly turn it if I want. Grab that piece. Down, turn it again. And you could kind of see by sewing it together how it's already looking crisscross. But I like to, before I take this off, just to make sure everything's looking good, I kind of turn it inside out just to make sure I like the way that it looks. I'm happy with that, how that's sewed up. And once you block it off, it's not gonna look as scrunched up, but that's pretty much it guys. So now I'm good with that. So I could take off that there Give it another little tug just for good measure. Clip it off on the inside. And I have got my headband. Easy as one, two, three. Block it off and you're good to go. So that's in the blue. And then we have in the bright yellow here. And that's it guys. That's how you do the twisted headband in the blue or in the yellow, either one. Easy as one, two, three. You can make this for your marketplace. Again, this takes about an hour, hour and a half. Very, very easy to make. So I would love to get some feedback as to how you uh, thought the headband worked out for you. So um that's pretty much it so i will see you on the next tutorial like share and subscribe and happy knitting